What are we doing today? Well, you want to do a four mile time run, right? No, I didn't. You did. That was your suggestion last night. That's what you wanted to do. That's your thing, man. Hey guys, our partners at Barbell Apparel have done something that I thought was actually impossible. They've made the most comfortable pair of jeans that I've ever worn. They've made them even better, all right? So this is the new version, the 2.0 of the athletic fit jeans that they make at Barbell. They've done some significant upgrades. They've got a new fabric. Uh, they actually have a gusseted crotch, which means it opens up some room in there, gives you more range of motion. They've reinforced key areas in the pockets and other places in the jeans. Uh, I've been out here on the range for the last five hours this morning working in this je these jeans, doing everything from medicine ball tosses to sled pulls to squats, uh, running, shooting, moving, and they are functioning flawlessly. I'm super excited about these. I think you guys will be too. Uh, Barbell Apparel is awesome. They're great partners here. They're great people. If you're looking for a new pair of jeans that you can wear all day, anywhere, doing any activity, these are the ones that you want. I'll get Tech Guy to attach some information in the show notes of this video so that you guys can get a wait, uh, on the wait list for these things. They release April 7th to the public and uh, they're gonna sell out quick because they're pretty epic. This is 10 years of innovation going into this new 2.0 pair of blue jeans. So thanks Barbell for upping the standard and continuously taking things that are already the best and making them better. Enough said. All right, we'll do a four mile time run then. All right. Why is that your thing? Explain it. <laughs> All right, look, y'all. I mean, good look. Lord, dude. Hey, look, YouTube. <laughs> this is why Four mile time run is a, is a standard run for us. Is this how you want to for, present for it? For me anyways, yeah. Y'all better daggone. I hate you uh, Y'all better start doing your four mile time run. This is why we pick four miles instead of a 5K or, you know, a 10 mile run. I feel like four miles is a good distance because it's not so short that you can just sprint through it, but it's not so long that it becomes a grind so you can actually run fast, but you have to measure yourself and you have to have a fairly good level of running fitness and endurance built up to be able to hit the standard. The standard is 30 minutes for a four mile time to run. Usually, I, well, I, I hold myself to that standard in any condition. So yeah, four miles in 30 minutes, that doesn't sound bad, but can you do it after you just ate a pound of brisket at Blossom Hill? Um, can you do it in the middle of a, a training block, like me right now? I'm, I am sore as crap right now, dude. My, ham, my hamstrings, I, I did a workout with Hamza the other day and he liked to kill me. And so I ran 10 miles Monday. I ran 17 miles yesterday. Point is I'm tired and I'm doing a lot of work and right that, now. And that's why you come out and you do the standard when you're tired and see if you can hit it. All right? So four miles. I don't know if I'll get it today or not, but I think I will. I know you'll get it. Well, both the distance and the time standard seem very arbitrary to me, so. No, no, it's, I'm, a, I'm the master at this, dude. Trust me, if I tell you to do something, you should do it, it works. What, you're usually about 27 minutes, ain't you? Shelly's usually about 27 minutes. 
I'm usually faster than that, but I'm probably slower than that now. So I, we got to do a warm up before we get started on this because I'm stove up this morning. All right, I'm going to take y'all through Chili's standard warm up. Um, well, you probably don't remember. First thing we're going to start with is these right here. <laughs> I don't ever do those. That's all right. <laughs> All right, you do eight on each leg. I mean eight, um, however many I just did, that's how many you do, go back and count them. Then we're gonna go into some lunge and twist. All right, then we're gonna go into some butt kicks. That's some soft butt kicking, isn't it? <laughs> Then we're gonna go into some high knees. His butt kicks and high knees almost don't look any different. <laughs> All right, then we're gonna do a few inchworms. Oh yeah. as high as I can go today. <sighs> what you're really trying to do on these inchworms is activate your core strength. Then we're gonna do some side steps. I don't really warm up. What's the point of warming up? Well, you don't work out enough to have to warm up. Well, yeah, that's true, but I'm about to work out. All right, I think we're ready. <laughs> Blake at, Blake said, uh, tech guy said, well, why is it 30, why is 30 minutes the standard? It's because I ran it four miles one time in 30 minutes, and I thought, well, I think I can do this every time. That's why it's the standard. Well, by the way, is tech guy going to run this morning? You, you, you ought to not roll your ankle on a track. Oh no, he can't run. What? Look, he stepped on something like this right here. Turned his ankle. <laughs> Little piece of chewed up bubble gum. He, he'd land on that right there and his inside and he'd roll his ankle slap over. <laughs> Boy, it's a good thing tech guy ain't running. He'd sure enough turn his ankle on that, wouldn't Can't he? Can you imagine? Well, it would be ugly. <laughs> He wasn't making around one lap before you turn your ankle on that. <laughs> All right. Here we go. I'm going to track it on my watch. All right. I, I don't wear a Yeah, because I know you say it's, it's, it's 16 laps plus. Plus, you know. About halfway. 40 meters. So I'm going to track it on my watch. All right, let's see what happens. What what my, what pace do you have to maintain to do four miles in 30 minutes? 7.30. 7.30. Whew, that's fast. That's fast for me this morning. Three, two, one, go. Slap it down. That's pretty slow. You gotta go get shot of that. Got some lovers out here on the track. Secret lovers. Let's go see what they're doing.
mile three times 20 minutes. Julie, you're gonna pass him at the last minute. Final lap, final lap. Four miles, 26, 22, 26, 22. There you go. There it is. In my warm ups. Y'all will learn one day. Well, that's four mile time run. I didn't think I was gonna pull off a 26-22 today. I thought I was gonna be more in a 28 minute range. Um, when you draft off of somebody, it's about 20% easier to maintain speed. So what you saw Chili do was actually pretty smart. He drafted off of me the whole time, conserved his energy, came around me at the last lap. Really all that matters is that you finish first, all right? So, uh, you don't have to be ahead of everybody all the time. I always say you need to keep first place within striking distance if you're racing. If you do that, that's fine because if you're behind him, if you're running to win and you're behind the first place runner, you own his thoughts. If he's not trained to the level he needs to be trained mentally, all he's doing is thinking about you the whole time. And you can just wear him down by just staying right behind him. And he's wondering the whole time what you're going to do, how much you have left, because he can't see you. You can see him, right? Now, a trained person, that doesn't work. If somebody's running out front and they're trained like Chili, that ain't going to freaking work because a trained person doesn't care. They know what they're capable of, and that's all they need to know. They're not influenced by any outside pressure right? External pressure. The only thing that influences them is the pressure they create in their own mind. So go out, do your freaking four mile time run, post your time in the comments of this video. I want to see what you guys are working with. Enough said.